This week is all about your instructions project. So you should have already um, made contact with your team members. Most teams have submitted their team formation documents. Be sure that you let me know if you're having issues with your team. This is a bit of a research project and you do have to depend on helping one another in order to find good research for this project. Um, so if any team member is not pulling their weight, it's really important that you let me know so that I can help get them back on track. Um, let's take a look at what we have to do um, for this week. So as we look at our calendar, you'll have your audience analysis due today on Monday. Um, Tuesday, you really should spend the day researching about instructions, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to do that. On Wednesday, by the end of the day, you'll turn in your preliminary source memo. Um, and then the rest of the day is really set on working on your team's report. So let's take a moment and just look at what I'm asking for in this particular project. So the instructions assignment, let's take a look at what you're doing. So the first thing that you're gonna be doing is a team formation document. Most of you have done that already. Today's the audience analysis. What you're gonna be doing is um, creating a, a report about how to write instructions. So our textbook is, is your first step. You need to make sure you're doing the textbook reading. And then you'll come down here and you'll um, do these other deliverables. So for your audience analysis, you need the audience that will be using the machine because what you're doing is revising a set of quick start instructions on a machine. So think about the audience using the machine and therefore using the instructions. And so you're gonna turn in one document for your whole team for that. Then you'll do a preliminary source memo, and this is where you're going to find at least seven sources that you've located, read, and analyzed about the best practices for writing and designing instructions. You can use general internet sources. There's a ton of stuff out there about technical writing and best practices for instructions. Make sure that they seem um, accurate, reputable, and appropriate for college level work. But then you also need to have sources from the PGCC library database. Let me show you um, one of the ways that you can do that. So when you come to our, um, our Canvas site, there is a link for library resources that you can go to. Um, one of the things that you can use for library resources is this A to Z database list. If you have a favorite database, you can definitely try doing that. But actually for this particular um, resource, I'm going to suggest you go to PGCC's library homepage. And what you'll see on the library homepage is you'll see this general search bar because the majority of resources that you'll find for instructions come from textbooks and book length resources that you'll take a chapter out of. Um, those are available through a variety of databases. So in this case, it's a lot of times easier to find stuff through here. And then I would recommend searching first for technical instructions. You can try other keywords after this, um, but I would start there. And as you can see, there are some books about like how the brain processes technical instructions. Let me see. So I can open that. And it's not that you're going to read entire books, but what you can do is use the table of contents, you know, to talk about best practices, like instructional research implications, stuff like that. Um, other things that you might want to add into your search are technical writing because you might find um, like something like this which is a handbook these are the kind of sources you're going to find that are going to be much much better than um, general articles you'll come down here I don't know why it's not available Hmm. Okay, 
So once you get in, you'll be able to see here's like a handbook. And again, you're not going to be using the entire handbook, but you can probably come in here and look at some types of information um, that will help you with technical writing. Let's see if we can find a couple other ones just so you can get a sense of the sort of things that you are looking at. So this is computer games and technical communication. Here's technical writing, a guide for engineers and scientists. Um, something like that might be really helpful. Technical writing instruction. I'm gonna go up here to this one so that we can kind of see if any of these have the information you need. Remember, research is a lot of trial and error and you can just kind of see just by my first search that I'm doing off the cuff, you'll find some things that work and some things that don't. So it'll take you to the contents and it looks like down here you can talk about, you know, in general, the writing process, um, correctness, different parts of writing. Those are reports, research papers, book reviews. And there's operational instructions so that you might be able to find information about, you know, how you would use instructions in the book. So what you want to do is you really want to look for kind of like manuals on technical writing, manuals on technical instructions. The thing that you want to be really, really careful about um, is just searching for instruction. So if you go to like ProQuest and you just type in instructions, what you're really going to get is a lot of um, just about instructions or the other thing that you'll tend to get is stuff in instruction in terms of like teaching. So like instructions for adult protective services funding um, or if you, especially if you type in like writing instructions, the resources you're going to get is like writing instruction as in like the teaching of writing, the instruction about writing. You don't want those. You want to be really careful. My suggestion for your research is to start with general internet sources to give you more of an understanding about the parts of instructions. For instance, if you just search, you know, um, best practices for writing instructions and you search for some like books and topics here but again, make sure you're not writing instruction, right? So maybe put in technical instructions. Um, that'll give you best practices in technical writing. Lots of like best practices. And what you might be able to find from there is general information about instructions. And then you can use the research from the library to get more specific information about like audience analysis or document planning or design, right? So you're not necessarily going to find like the perfect resource from our library that tells you how to write instructions. So you will be doing a best practices report. I would really suggest you use your textbook as a starting place for keywords, as a starting place for research, because it's going to guide you. What you want is more depth and you want sources to corroborate those. So the biggest portion of this assignment is that best practices report. Um, a little bit later in the week, I'll make a, a video kind of about the report layout and how you're going to do that. And then the smaller part is evaluating the instructions that are in our uh, case-based practices book and then revising them as a group using some sort of like a desktop publishing in order to do that. So it's a little bit complicated. Um, it's definitely a more intensive um, project. The report is due on Sunday. You won't have to revise and evaluate the instructions until next Tuesday. So this is kind of like a week and a half still on this particular project. If you're having any trouble, make sure that you're reaching out to me and letting me know. Don't forget, I do have office hours. You can get those through the contact page or you can request an appointment for your team. 
If you're having trouble with research, let me know. This is a little bit tricky assignment, um, so it's really important that you're communicating with me if you need extra help. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and if you do need anything, um, I'm here to help you, so be sure to reach